there are several new dimensioning tools specifically for panels in the latest release of Blueprint. Uh, one of those is the ability to add up the number of pinning holes for you so you don't have to uh, remember to do that as you're uh, dimensioning the pinning holes. So I can drop down a pinning hole dimension here and I'm just going to pull the uh, dimension off to the side for right now. And then I'm just going to point to this particular pinning hole. And then I can drag this dimension where I want it. And it adds it up as well as giving me the diameter. This also works with chamfer dimensions. So I can drop down a uh, chamfer dimension here. And then we'll come up and touch that chamfer. Once we've done this, we'll go ahead and format that dimension and choose the option to show panel chamfer count. And now it gives us a total of the uh, number of chamfers on this panel. This also works for uh, panel fiducials as well. So I have my datum set down here and I'm going to put down a uh, vertical coordinate and just grab this. Another new feature that works well with mill tabs is the ability to actually edit the dimension and have the mill tab move to the new location. So here I'm just going to change this to one inch and the mill tab actually moves for me there. Okay. And as you can see it was associated with this one so it moves together. Now there may still be a problem there, that's why the, the red uh, X is still there, but uh, the, the idea is that I can actually edit the dimensions and have the